This is the Soweto slum area. We have been here for nearly almost 50 years. I come from the northwestern region of Uganda. My late father migrated here because they were looking for work. Majority of them have migrated because in the villages, no employment, no nothing. So people are forced to migrate, migrate from rural to urban areas. We don't have jobs. Majority of the people here, you see some of the women, they, they do small, small work to make ends meet. I'm from the countryside. In the village, I could not even earn something. So I, I thought that maybe by going into the city, I will get unemployment. I will have to fulfill my dreams. Some, of course, were lucky enough to access jobs in the industries, and others were doing businesses. But when the industries collapsed, then they were left with no other option apart from joining the informal economy. And many others, of course, are staying in slums and informal settlements. The approach Cities Alliance took was to identify and profile the migrants who are in Jinja, and we agreed that it is good to mobilize them into savings groups. We thought that if we could encourage them to save on a daily basis, they would uh, create uh, a, a fund that could enhance their access to affordable credit. But to motivate them, Cities Alliance had to create a city development fund to encourage them and leverage the community savings and create a size of fund that could sustain financing of their business enterprises. Now this include projects like the fruit juice uh, processing, the shoe manufacturing company, the hatchery, and many others. Shoe Group Development Association is a community-based organization that is empowering youths, women, in creating jobs, adding value on the products that we produce. We, we became part of the Community Development Fund and we have so far got the machines in operation. Yeah, so now we are able to produce our products, that is shoes, directly here. Now there are 20 people working to make 50 pairs of shoes just in a day. But previously we used to make just three to five pairs of shoes. The impact right now, it has reduced on the cost that we could incur before getting those machines. Another impact that it has brought, members have got motivated and we have started even saving. We shall be paying that loan in installment for a period of two years. These people are employed, are able to, to educate their children, they will have even formal settlements with time. So it has really done something good in the community. Challenges we have here, of course you can see the type of housing we have, eh? it's mud and water. But our challenge is we don't have clean water, we don't have electricity, we don't have schools, we have very poor housing. We don't have any road here, apart from these paths you see here. So we have been having that problem, and you see in cities there's a lot of eviction of people, particularly if you don't have documents or if you don't have security of tenure. The second component of uh, this project was the housing upgrading fund. And this was focusing on improving the community infrastructure within the two informal settlements of Chibugambata and Soweto. But the community on the ground identified security of tenure as their priority. And as a result, we were able to adjust and cater for processing of the titles to, to, to enable the communities to access security of tenure on their land. 
and we have been trying to struggle with the authorities and see if they could help us to get titles for this place. But each time they are telling us the procedure for getting titles is very complicated because you first have to have a road or you need to have road network, then you can apply to process the titles. And our idea was taken up by the local authorities. We are on the process so that uh, all the parcel owners, the beneficiaries, should get their official titles, which is underway. Land grabbing has been singled out as one of the highest risks to the urban poor. And Cities Alliance uh, adjusted the program and provided the Housing Upgrading Fund, which enabled the surveyors and the planners to plan the settlements and be able to carry out the surveys for, of individual plots and process uh, the titles for, for the beneficiaries. By law, titling, all this the process is supposed to go through government. And the Cities Alliance had again to liaise through the local government or the urban government, that is Jinza City Council. I don't know how to, I can thank Cities Alliance. I'm a bit emotional because we have gone through a lot of problems. Cities Alliance to come and help people here to get titles is something we shall never forget and even these generations will never forget. Because we have been struggling to do that for 50 years, we have failed. Otherwise the dreams of these people is how will these young people get educated? How do we bring them up? We are hoping that uh, we will continue to work together with the Cities Alliance, since the motto is the cities without slums.